There haven't been many issues in American politics that have really captivated the nation quite like the nomination of Supreme Court Justice Brett Kavanaugh. Through mid to late September, a process that's typically left under the eyes of the media grew to a polarizing conflict. But despite all the coverage, most of the facts have been drowned out by political rhetoric across the board. So let's look at them. On July 9th, President Donald Trump nominates DC Circuit Judge Brett Kavanaugh to fill the seat left by Anthony Kennedy's retirement. On July 30th, Dr. Christine Blasey Ford, a psychology professor at Palo Alto University, sends Senator Dianne Feinstein a letter detailing her alleged assault, saying, quote, Brett Kavanaugh physically and sexually assaulted me during high school in the early 1980s. On September 16th, the Washington Post makes Ford's letter public in an article. On September 17th, Kavanaugh fully denies the allegation and ever knowing Dr. Ford. On September 22nd, Ford confirms that she's willing to testify before the Senate Judiciary Committee. Over the next week, two other women would come forward with allegations of both sexual assault and rape, both of which were denied by Brett Kavanaugh, and the Senate Judiciary Committee did not grant either the chance to testify. Then, on September 26th, Kavanaugh releases his most crucial piece of evidence, an extremely detailed calendar from the summer of 1982. Throughout his summer calendars, he kept detailed accounts of every social gathering he attended, and none are like the one Dr. Ford recounts. And finally, on September 27th, America tunes in to watch the testimony of both Dr. Ford and Judge Kavanaugh. I am here today not because I want to be. I am terrified. I am here because I believe it is my civic duty to tell you what happened to me while Brett Kavanaugh and I were in high school and Brett got on top of me. I yelled, hoping that someone downstairs might hear me. I believed he was going to rape me. I tried to yell for help. When I did, Brett put his hand over my mouth to stop me from yelling. It was hard for me to breathe, and I thought that Brett was accidentally going to kill me. I've never sexually assaulted Dr. Ford or anyone. I categorically and unequivocally de deny the allegation against me by Dr. Ford. I never had any sexual or physical encounter of any kind with Dr. Ford. This has destroyed my family and my good name. A good name built up through decades of very hard work and public service at the highest levels of the American government. This whole two-week effort has been a calculated and orchestrated political hit, fueled with apparent pent-up anger about President Trump and the 2016 election. The next day, September 28th, the Senate Judiciary Committee holds a vote to advance Kavanaugh's confirmation to the full Senate. Here are two clips from some of the most iconic speeches. The Supreme Court is not an entitlement. And, and Mr. Chairman, I'll tell you this, this is not a court of law. We're not saying that this man is guilty of what he said. The question is, is do we know enough now to delay this? Or are we going to rush to put someone on the Supreme Court with this cloud hanging over them? If you wanted an FBI investigation, you could have come to us. What you want to do is destroy this guy's life, hold this seat open, and hope you win in 2020. You said that, not me. You've got nothing to apologize for. When you see Sotomayor and Kagan, tell them that Lindsay said all oh, because I voted for them. I would never do to them what you've done to this guy. This is the most unethical, sham since I've been in politics. In the end, the committee voted to advance Kavanaugh's confirmation. They agreed on a supplemental FBI investigation, which would be extremely limited in scope. After five days, the investigation was concluded and found no new evidence against Kavanaugh. Ford and Kavanaugh were both not interviewed by the FBI during the investigation, despite willingness to do so. Rather, many other witnesses mentioned in the hearing were. Kavanaugh was confirmed as a Supreme Court justice days later.